Long division with three digit divisors. Let's try an example. 673,127 divided by 452. First, we ask ourselves how many times 452 goes into 6. None. That's because the first digit taken by itself is less than the divisor. 6 is less than 452. Write 0 or leave a space above the 6. Now let's group the 6 and the 7 together and ask ourselves how many times 452 goes into 67. Also none, because 67 is less than 452. Write 0 or leave a space above the 7. Now we group together the 6, 7, and 3 and ask ourselves how many times 452 goes into 673. 452 goes into 673 one time. So we write a 1 above the 3. We multiply 452 times 1 and write the product right underneath 673. Now we subtract. We get 221. Bring down the 1. Figure out how many times 452 goes into 2211. To do this, we estimate. We multiply 452 by 5. 2260 is greater than 2211, so it doesn't work. We need to go lower. So we multiply 452 by 4 to get 1808. We write the 4 directly above the 1. Now we multiply 452 times 4. We write the product directly underneath 2,211. Now we subtract and get 403. Bring down the 2. Now we have 4,032. We have to find out how many times 452 goes into 4,032. We do this by estimating. Let's try multiplying 452 by 9. We get 4,068, but that number is too big, so we have to go smaller. So let's try multiplying 452 by 8. We get 3,616. We write the 8 directly above the 2. Now we multiply 452 by 8. We write the product directly underneath 4,032. Now we subtract and get 416. Bring down the 7. Now we are left with 4,167. Using our previous estimations, we see that 452 multiplied by 9 is a perfect fit. We write the 9 directly above the 7, then we multiply 452 times 9. We write the product directly underneath 4167 and subtract. We get 99. Because we don't have any more numbers to bring down, 99 is our remainder. So the answer is 1489 with a remainder of 99. We can check our work by multiplying the divisor times the quotient and adding the remainder. When we solve, we realize that the answer is the same as the dividend. So our work is correct. Let's try another example. 40,392 divided by 374. 374 goes into 4 zero times. So we write 0 above the 4 or leave a space. 374 goes into 40 zero times. So we write a 0 or a space above the 0. Now we ask ourselves how many times 374 goes into 403, one time. So we write a 1 above the 3. We multiply 374 by 1, and we write the product directly underneath 403. Now we subtract and we get 29. Next, we bring down the 9. 374 goes into 299 zero times. We write the 0 above the 9 to act as a placeholder. Now we multiply 374 by 0. We get 0. Then we subtract 299 minus 0. We get 299 again. This time, we bring down the 2. So we have 2,992. Now we estimate. 374 times 9. We get 3,366. That's too big, so we have to go smaller. Let's try 8. 374 times 8. We get 2,992. The 8 works, so we write it directly above the 2. 
we multiply 374 by 8. We write the product directly underneath 2,992. Now we subtract. We get 0. So our answer is 108. Let's check our work. We multiply the divisor and the quotient. 374 times 108 is 40,392, which is equal to our dividend. So our answer is correct. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.